Hi everyone, welcome to Things Lucy Reads. I'm Luce and today I will be reviewing for you The Secret Life of Stars by Lisa Harvey Smith. So I am part of the blog tour for this book which is run jointly by the publishers Thames and Hudson and by the blogging group Ozway Bloggers. Thank you very much to both of those groups for running this tour and for selecting me for it and for sending me a copy of the book for reviewing purposes. Even though I was sent a copy of this for free, this is an honest review, they are my own opinions, and they have not been influenced by the fact that I did not pay for this book. So this is a non-fiction book about astrophysics, the subtitle at the top here says Astrophysics for Everyone, and that is a pretty apt description of this book. I've been interested in astronomy and stargazing for a long time, but I haven't actually like read any of the books that I have about it because I've always felt a little intimidated by them. and like maybe I wouldn't be smart enough to grasp all of the concepts but that definitely wasn't the case with this book it was written in a very easy to understand way it was concise it, it didn't fall into the trap of using overly technical languages it doesn't even have a glossary in it because it doesn't need one I found it all in all very accessible very informative and really really easy to follow I feel that a book that claims to be information for everyone runs the risk of falling into the trap of either being too simple for people who already have a basic understanding of the concept of whatever the book is about or too technical for someone who does not have a basic understanding of the concept but this one falls into neither of those traps as i said it was really easy to follow and in a lot of cases the author would draw comparisons between astronomical objects and real life situations. So there was contact binaries which are a group of stars that all orbit together and some of them like are so close that they are actually touching. Lisa Harvey Smith likened it to a family group. So of the five stars in this cluster there's one pair who are touching and she called them Laura and Dan. There's a long-term married couple and they're called Ed and Pete. And just as a side note I loved this tiny detail that the married couple were called Ed and Pete. Just a tiny little nudge away from heteronormativity where they didn't need to be one but I really appreciated that there was. So there's Laura and Dan who are touching all the time, really snuggly, really cuddly, you know, giggly, new couple. A married couple, Ed and Pete, who are stable but have drifted apart slightly. And then fifth star is called Maria who is independent but lives close to Ed and Pete and uh, socializes with them frequently so orbits close by. Just the concept of using like a family structure I just thought was so cute. Some of the references made may be a little bit too outdated for a young teenager or a child. There was a reference in there to Honey I Shrunk the Kids. So some of the comparisons made and some of the references will be not unsuitable but just won't be familiar for people under a certain age but for people my age and older that are reading this book they will understand and Certainly, if a child was reading this and they didn't understand a comparison, they could just ask someone in their lives who was older than them and that person could probably explain it. And all of the talk of supernovae, especially, that Lisa does in this book has just made me really, really excited to hopefully see one in my lifetime. There is a small chance that Beetlejuice might go supernova in my lifetime and I sort of hope that it does because that would be really, really cool to see and I hope I get that opportunity. On the whole I feel like this would be suitable for anyone of any age group. It was certainly engaging and compelling for me as an adult to read. It was concepts that I learned in high school science but expanded on and taken a little bit further and now I feel like I have a better understanding of astronomy and the galaxies and space in general than I ever got in school. Most of the stuff that I learned this, in this book I didn't know about. Most of these stars I'd never heard of before. It was really really fresh and really interesting. I read most of this in two days because it was just that compelling. I do feel a little bit now like I have just crammed for a science exam but studying for science exams when I was doing them was never this enjoyable and I wish it had been because if it was maybe I would have been a little bit more um, industrious about it. I just really really tremendously enjoyed this book and I think I would definitely read it again when I wasn't under deadline and I feel like maybe I will learn even more things that I missed this first time around. Definitely recommend this book as an entry-level guide into astrophysics and all things space. That is all I have for this video. If you would like to leave me a comment feel free to do so and I will leave all of the links for this book and for the tour in general in the description bar below so check those out as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.